In this question, we are given the second derivative of fx, and we have to show that p is a local maximum point. The key concept that we'll use here is that at a local maximum point, the second derivative is negative. So to show that p is a local maximum, we'll substitute the x-coordinate of p for x into the expression for the second derivative. So when we substitute, we get 20 times ln e to the power of 1 fourth minus 9 divided by e to the power of 1 fourth to the power of 6. Working further, we get 20 times ln e to the power of 1 fourth, and since ln is log base e, for ln e to the power of 1 fourth, we simply get 1 fourth. From this, we have to subtract 9. In the denominator, we'll multiply the powers, so 1 fourth by 6, which gives us 6 over 4, or 3 over 2. Therefore, here we get e to the power of 3 over 2. 20 times 1 fourth is 5, so we end up with 5 minus 9, so negative 4, divided by e to the power of 3 over 2. Since the numerator here is negative and the denominator is positive, we can write that the second derivative at e to the power of 1 fourth is less than 0, so negative, and therefore p is a local maximum. Let's see a quick exam-taking tip that you can take away from here. As you saw, we finished our working with a concluding statement. The tip here is for you to finish your answer with a concluding statement where appropriate. Even though in some questions you might not lose a mark if you don't have a concluding statement, it is better to always write one where appropriate so that you don't risk losing easy marks.